Hi, my name is Paul Texando, Senior Sales Engineer at RAS Software. The demo today is about how you can remove local administrator privileges for your users with RAS Workspace Manager 2011. Removing local administrator privileges has a huge impact on the total cost of ownership as well as increasing the overall security on your devices. Local administrator rights is needed for specific control panel applets, legacy applications, and applications that access the local hardware. Dynamic privileges in RAS Workspace Manager 2011 will allow you to either elevate or restrict access to specific applications while you maintain the default privileges of the user. In VMware Workstation, in order to edit the virtual networks, you have to be an administrator. So either you add the user to the local admin group on the device, or you use dynamic privileges in RAS Workspace Manager 2011. So let's see how easy this is done. In RAS Workspace Manager 2011 console, on the specific application I want to elevate rights on, in security and dynamic privileges, I have three options. Either I do nothing, so the application will be launched with the existing access rights, or I can add administrator rights or remove administrator rights. So I will add administrator rights to this specific application. For the changes to be reflected on the desktop, I need to do a refresh on the workspace. Then when I launch the application, I now have the possibility to edit the virtual network settings without being a local administrator. If you want to know more about RAS Workspace Manager 2011 and dynamic privileges, please visit www.rassoftware.com. Thank you for watching and goodbye.